Uh, hello friends today in this tutorial we will be building a e-commerce product image cards basically let me show you the application this will be, will be building inside tailwind css so you can see it's similar to amazon.com product image card so basically we have this image out there image of the product of a t-shirt you can have any product of your choice here you can change this image product image then we have the name of the product then we have the price and then there is, will be this add to cart button so if you click this you will be able to purchase this so this is a similar amazon flipkart or any sort of website that you encounter while purchasing products we will try to replicate the design this will be the side menu icon here nice little menu icon which will be built inside purely in tailwind css all these utility classes we will build it and basically by using the flexbox layout so the menu will be there on the left hand side and the product images will be there in the right hand side so we are using the flexbox layout this is the product image card so though you can see all these images you can change it accordingly if you are building an e-commerce based website so basically these cards will be very much important whenever you will be listing it you can just copy the design of one card and just paste it you just need to change the image the name of the product the price and then this add to cart buttons are perfectly there for you so we will be building this design guys it is completely responsive if you want to check it on mobile phone it will look something like this so it is completely responsive on tablet mobile devices and pc as well so you can now see completely responsive so this will be built inside tailwind css guys so i have given all the source code in the description of this live stream so if you're watching it for the very first time then please hit the like button subscribe the channel as well let me just give you the full source code here so get the full source code just get all the source code so let me give the source code in the live chat so that you can copy paste it so i have given all the source code guide in in the live chat so let me pin this message in the live chat so let's start building this application from scratch guys so what we will do is that we will simply say ecommerce.html so here guys you will first of all paste the cdn here close the head tag inside this we will have the body guys so basically we will now open this uh, live preview section basically it will show me the preview side by side when i write this code so so very first thing guys we will make the menu for this landing page so basically we will have a div tag inside this we will have a div tag and basically we will have inside another div tag and uh, here after this sorry let me just paste my code here that is there for this application so first of all guys we will make this menu so inside we will have a section tag the parent tag will be section inside this we will have a div another div another uh, div so this div will be the actual uh, anchor tag so here we can simply write here our anchor tags basically this will be jackets and coats like this another anchor tag we will have is our hoodies another anchor tag will be for this will be t-shirts and vets vest another anchor tag will be for shirts another anchor tag will be for blazers and suits and another anchor tag will be for jeans and another anchor tag will be for trousers we are just writing the HTML first and then we will apply the CSS, Tailwind CSS classes and here we will have the shorts. So that's all guys which is lastly we also need to. So that's it guys so now we have all these anchor elements so now we need to attach the classes. So to each of the classes we will include these classes. So basically we will give it a class name. 
basically you will say we need to give it a class name guys so basically first of all we will give it a parent class parent div class so it needs to be giving a class and also this parent div so first of all guys on uh, let me also give the this parent give a class as well and this section as well so this section guys let me style the section first let me come from top to bottom so basically the parent section basically will have a background of you can even give a black color as well you can now see but we will give it a white color background white and basically dark whenever the device is dark we will change it to the gray color 900 so now coming back to the next class guys we will attach a container class so it will now have some spacing here padding from the x direction we will say 6 padding from the y direction we will say 8 and mx auto mx auto this will be the margin auto that's it after that guys we will come to this so here on large devices lg stands for large devices so whenever your devices is responsive whenever you are viewing this website on pc we will make this as flex you can now see so sm stands for small devices so if i do this like this or extra small so basically on large devices we will change it to flex so if you now open this inside this our can now see it will change to flex here like this so if you're watching it for the very first time guys please hit the like button subscribe the channel so this is the product landing page we are developing it so next class we need to do is that is uh, again inside lg we need to give it a margin which is mx mx2 so now you can see it will have some margin in between the anchor elements if you change this to 5 it will have more margin like this so we will change to 2 and also guys we will have uh, the space class as well space y3 so now you will see it will have spaces from the y direction and also on large devices we also need to have a width of uh, 1 by 6 so it will take the width 1 by 6 guys you can now see it will move on the left hand side so the width is very low if I change it to let's suppose uh, 2 by 3rd it will take a lot of width you will now see it will take a lot of width so that's why I changed to 1 by 6 so this will be there on the left hand side the menu and also on large devices we also need to give padding from the x direction px2 so you will now see there will be some padding here like this and also on large devices we need to have a space in between the items in the y direction 4 so in between the items we will have these you can now see and also guys for each this uh, anchor elements we will need to give it a class of block so what will happen now if you give it a class of block it will have its own you can now see it will be a block level element and basically font will be medium like this and text will change to gray and 500 so now you can see text 500 and basically on dark devices the text will change to 300 and whenever you hover onto this we need to change it to underline so now if you hover onto this it will change to underline so these classes you need to attach to each and every anchor element so what it we will do is that we will simply attach these classes so we can simply copy this class full class and paste it to each item so now you can see that So now you can see guys it is changing to anchor elements here so this is our menu which is styling here so we have attaching all the same classes that we attached to the first element anchor element so you can see it is changed to hover element so whenever hover it you will change it to underline 
So this signifies that this is the anchor element. Again, do this. Again, do this. So if you're watching it for the very first time, guys, please hit the like button, subscribe the channel. So this is our left hand side menu, guys, which is almost ready. Now we need to make our product image cards, which is required for this. So basically, just move from this diff section and now basically on the right hand side we will display the product image cards here so if you now open this inside the browser itself you will now see this is our menu here which is ready here of course you can see that this is a menu so if you're watching it for the very first time guys please hit the like button subscribe the channel as well so after this we need to have the menu as well guys so for the menu it's very easy we will have a div tag basically this div tag will have a class of uh, for inside this we will have another div tag the paragraph will be simply after this we will have a div tag so inside the paragraph guys you will now see six items you just need to write six items like this And then inside this div section guys we will have another paragraph and basically this paragraph will say sort. Let me open with live server so that you can clearly see what we are happening here. So you can see this is happening here. So side by side you can see here. This is what we are doing right now. side by side you can see here we are attaching this this is a paragraph here sort here so after this guys after this paragraph we will have a simple select list select element so inside this select element guys we will have different options so the first option will be for recommended like this this is the first option the second option once again will be for size and so basically it's a select list you will now see this is a select list and the third option inside this select list guys will be for price so there are three options out there so this is our select list which is there so now we need to style the select list so basically we will be giving some classes to it so first of all we will be going from the very top so here we will simply say this class which is margin top 6 so it will have some space from the very top so you can see that this is the things that we are doing and on large devices we need to say margin top zero so if you, you will have zero margin here so you can now see zero margin will be there and also you can also change it to let's suppose you want to give some margin from the top you can also change it to five so if you just want to put zero like this and on large devices we also need to give padding from the x position two. and also on large devices we need to make the width to be four by five like this and after that guys you need to change it to again this flex class we need to have a flex model so item center you can now see and also justify between so last element will be moved way away you can now see justify so it will be moved away away on the right hand side and also we need to make the text small so text sm so text will be small and then we will be tracking widest uppercase so we also need to change this to uppercase as well so this will be changed to uppercase so now you can see so now this paragraph guys we need to attach some class to it which is first class will be the change the 
text to gray like this and the shade will be 500 and dark if the text is dark then we need to say that uh, text dark text dark 300 sorry gray 300 so that's it so now we will be coming to the next div section guys so here we again need to say this is a select list here basically we are styling it so again we need to say we need to change it to flex so if you see here if I drag down so basically here we need to apply the display flex class so that they also come side by side so what we can do is that if I apply this class which is uh, let's suppose I apply this this is the class let me apply this flex so if I apply this class flex guys you can now see this will come side by side you can now see it is coming side by side and also we need to say that uh, items in the center position like this and also we need to style the paragraph which is sort here so we will change the text to gray 500 you will see it will change to 500 on dark it will change to 300 and also guys we will now style the select list which is very much important the select list we will change the font to medium color medium sorry medium size and we will change the text to gray color 700 like this and BG background we will say transparent dark text gray 500 and when we focus this select field we need to remove the outline so outline none so now you can see outline is none here so we have successfully styled up till now you can now see this is our left hand side menu this is our items this is our you can now see we need to now this is up till now this is styled here now we need to show this product image cards which is very much easy if you are watching it for the very first time guys then please hit the like button subscribe the channel i have given all the source code in the live chat so now we need to style this image cards guys that you are seeing right here for e-commerce website this is the image this is the name this is a price so basically now to style this it's very easy basically what we need to do is that after this after this select field is also done here so this after this guys we will now up have our image cards so here inside this div section basically have another image and then we will have a simple image so you can have any image of your choice guys this is your own product image coming this can be anything that you are selling on the e-commerce website so let me copy this image paste it so this is your image guys if I paste refresh it basically this is the image we are selling right now so we need to style this image so that it appears nicely on the screen so what we will say is that let me just fix it guys let me fix the screen right here right so right here now we need to style this image guys so basically for styling it basically we will be giving some classes to it of object cover and w full width will be full and basically this image will be rounded medium size so if you see there will be a slight edge roundedness edge height will be 72 of the image so now the height will be 72 and basically on extra large devices excel the height will be 80 so now you can see that 
so if you now see guys this is the image we have now and also guys we need to change this to a grid like structure so basically to the parent div we need to attach a class so that it changes to grid like structure so this is very important guys so we are changing this to a grid layout so basically grid calls layer 1 that's it so it will only display one image on small devices the gap will be 8 so now we are coming to the large devices on PC devices after this we will simply say on medium devices margin top will be some 8 here we need to give margin 8 here so it will slightly shift down and also on medium devices basically MD colon and the grid will be calls 2 so on medium devices tablet devices only two images will be shown per row but coming to the large devices PC devices guys we will show three images so the grid calls three so now you can see the size will elongate you can now see how responsive it is basically now the size is looking way better here so it will now uh, display three images three product images per row so first second third so this is a layout of the grid layout guys which is very much powerful basically it is completely responsive basically now if you uh, make the size like this now you can see that on mobile devices it will look something like this this is a menu then basically this is a select list then it will come this so it is completely responsive guys how it changes up to to fit the uh, devices size it's very amazing and uh, after this on uh, if you see here on extra large devices we need to say that on extra large devices grid call 4 so now you can see from for extra large devices we will simply say it will even shrink it it will even shrink the size of the image so that we can display four images something like this one two three four so there are three devices out there medium devices extra large devices and large devices so for extra large devices this is a PC size here so that's why we are shrinking the size of the image like this so that's it guys so after this coming to the parent div here like this so here also we need to attach the classes so I will attach this later on so after this image guys we will put the name of the products inside h4 tag so here we will simply say So here we will show the name of the product guys right here at the bottom so basically this will be the name of the product so we will simply put here printed t-shirt that's it so this is a name here you can now see we can even need to style this so some classes we need to give here so we need to give some margin from the top so empty to so it will give some margin from the top and we also need to make text larger so text LG so now the text will be larger here and the font we need to also change it so you can simply say the font needs to be changed to you can even change it to large as well but we don't need to change it to large we need to say to medium and the text we need to change it to grey this needs to be 700 and it's dark on dark devices the text needs to be grey 300 sorry 200 that's it this we have styled now guys you can now see after this we will have a simple paragraph which will hold the pricing so inside the paragraph you will say it's, it is about $12.55 so here you can change the price and basically we need to attach a class which is uh, the pricing will appear in the blue color 500 so now you can see it will display in the blue color and now guys after this we will have a simple button basically to purchase it so add to cart button so inside the span tag we will simply say add to cart so there is a button out there guys add to cart so this button basically we need to have this 
add to cart icon so this will be a SVG icon so right here you just need to paste it this SVG icon will be shown here you can now see this is SVG icon we have we have given this class here which is basically if you don't give this it will be larger in size so we need to say width to 5 uh, height to 5 and also we also need to say uh, margin from the x position 1 that's it that's all and after that guys you also need to give it some classes to the button as well so we simply say the button will have the class flex so now it will appear side by side to the icon so items will be center justify center like this so now you can see it will be side by side and also we also need to give some margin from the top position and also some padding from the y direction so basically after this you will make the width of the button to be full the width will be full so like this padding we will give from the x position to be 2 like this padding from the wipe direction all to also 2 and the margin from the top we will say 4 and basically the font we will change it to medium and tracking wide we will give this class so it will be a little bit wider the text and also we need to change the text to white text to white and basically we will capitalize so basically this will change to capital letters capitalize classes there inside tailwind css and lastly guys we also need to change the background to gray so bg gray 800 so background will change to gray color and it will be rounded it will be rounded button now you can see that this is a rounded button and whenever we hover onto this button we need to also change we will say that whenever we hover onto this we need to change the background color to 700 slightly smaller shade so you can now see and also when we focus onto this button if you see here we also need to change the remove the outline so we will say outline to none so now you can see no outline will be there and also when we focus this we also need to change its uh, background color to 700 so now you can see that this is the button guys so I think some classes are remaining so we also need to give it a transition colors class guys transition colors duration basically will be 200 millisecond and I think we have missed something here which is we need to write this after capitalize right here transition transition effect we will apply to the colors and especially it will be there for 200 millisecond and the transform property will apply to the background so now you can see this will be a slight transition effect which will be there so that's all for the styling for the button guys you will now see it is successfully styled here if you clearly see here this is a button this is the image this is a pricing here like this similar to this one so basically we need to make it on the center of the screen this pricing so what we can do is that inside the span tag basically we need to give it a class mx1 so just give it a class mx1 so now you can see some spacing is there in between the margin in the x direction so in order to give uh, the paragraph guys the class which is uh, Uh, I think we now need to style this which is uh, this one so basically this this class which we are remaining here so basically we need to change it to 
flex so basically if I copy paste one more time this if I change it to if I copy paste one more time this one so in order to show some more products so now what will happen guys you will now see what will happen so one two three four you can see that the images are listing here one two three four so basically it is showing in the grid like structure so we have you can now have as many product image cards as you want you just need to change the background image change the title change the pricing and then there you have it your add to cart button so this is a fully based e-commerce web website guys that we have developed here this is a design minimi minimalistic design that I have shown you uh, so if you like this video guys then please hit the like button subscribe the channel as well uh, I am seeing that people are not liking the content only five likes are there so please reach these likes to 10 likes and one more thing guys we need to print this title in the center of the screen and also this pricing so for that we need to simply make a slight little adjustment to our DOM so we can simply say that uh, in order to do this we will simply move to the div section here where we have attached these classes so here you need to give some classes guys which is flex we need to change it to flex so flex column and items needs to be center so now you can see when you give this class item center basically your all the items the children's will be coming in the center position so also we need to justify center like this we need to make the width to be full width will be full and uh, maximum width will be large and MX auto so all these classes you need to attach it so now you can see this this card will have this so now you need to repeat it for all the uh, guys here let me delete this and recopy this so let me paste it as many number of times so now you will see three images will be displayed here on per row paste sorry four one if I also paste it one more time so four images will be displayed on one row so this is your one row completed so now if you want to paste it the another one so it will now shift to the next row which is it will come right here so this is the basic functionality guys of our e-commerce websites how they design the interface it is similar to uh, Amazon Flipkart all these sites that you see eBay so these products are listed here this is your nice little menu so this is very minimalistic design you can even further style this there is no doubt about it you can style the uh, make style this even more but this is a very minimalistic design that I shown you it is completely responsive you can now see on mobile devices it would look something like this like this very minimalistic and very good design it will look something on like this on tablet very good so you can now see you can select six items are listed here you can now see so basically all this data will be coming from a database whenever you are making a full stack application so these images will be uploaded by users and basically if you are hosting a static site this will be a very good design for you so copy this design I have given all the source code in the description of this video and please hit the like button subscribe the channel as well if you are watching it for the very first time then please tell me in the comment section how you like this design if you have subscribed the channel as well or not so now if you have any sort of questions you can ask guys inside the chat section related to the video or the live stream I will definitely answer all your questions so first of all guys tell me where are you from and how you got this so basically it is built using Tailwind CSS nice thing about this so now if you have any sort of doubts you can ask in the comment section
uh, how can I learn Tailwind if you if I know little CSS? Uh, I think for Tailwind you should have a bit of knowledge of CSS, but not that deep. Tailwind has a set of utility based classes that you can style your layout. All the colors, positioning, layout stuff is already built in. So you just need to use the classes, use it at appropriate places. So I will not say that you learn, need to learn a lot of CSS for mastering the Tailwind CSS framework. Just learn some basic CSS and you will be able to use these classes, these basic classes to design your interface. So not a lot of CSS knowledge required for this. Okay, I will definitely make a video compression API in the next live stream. DataX asked the questions related to the live stream, if you have any sort of question. So what is my routine? I will just make the videos for you all day along researching topics and also in order to grow my channel as well I will do daily live streams multiple number of times six to seven number of times this is a growing phase of the channel so as long as I'm uploading videos so it's very good for the channel so that's why I'm uploading so, so much live streams so much doing live streams daily so that people can recognize my work I have almost four websites. Two websites are common. Main the two websites are the main websites, the blog website, the tool based websites. So four websites I have a total of, which are actually some websites that should be made. Coding Siksha Free Media Tools dot com, Latex Channel. These are the three websites, main websites I have. Then I have this tweakinterprojects dot com website as well. So they are not growing it. Mainly there are three websites: Coding Siksha dot com and Free Media Tools dot com and Latex Channel dot com. These are the three websites which I have. The pro code store is not that for traffic, it is just for selling the products, e-commerce products or any software that I develop. So it is not that for traffic base. I don't earn that much for it but uh, by advertisements. So it is just there for selling some stuff. If you have a nice stuff to sell it, I will redirect the user from coding section to procodestore.com to sell my source code. Oh, it is very low websites. It is not that people have 50 websites, 100 websites. So. I will make it tomorrow. I will not make it today. Today I have some videos to make. So tomorrow I will try and try to make it. Uh, hey there, can you make a video on building a Netflix clone with using HTML and CSS? I have already made it. Games drawn here. If you are new to the channel, please check out the videos. I have already made the Netflix clone. You can search on my channel. Just type here Netflix clone coding section. You can find the video. I have already made uh, Netflix clone. One video which was very viral. Almost 1300 visitors was there in the last 24 hours. So. You can check out this video on YouTube. Simply type Netflix coding section and the video will come up. Okay, nice. I will check out. Okay, where are you from? Game spawn here. If you are new to the channel, please hit the like button, subscribe the channel. No, I am not planning to make more websites. I am just planning to more add more content to the website so that the website should rank. Because of Google helpful content update, the website has really gone down. So, 
I really want to add quality content so that my websites are not down once again. I don't interested in that vlog star setup. I just want to create helpful content, programming content, coding content. I am not interested in vlog content. Yeah, I slept it very much. I slept for the whole night. So why, why are you asking these questions? So. Most of like, do you also stream? Do you all? Are you also a YouTuber? Because you are saying that I spent almost three lakhs and then I am watching another live stream. Which channel you do? Which channel? Are you also a developer, coder? Which do live streams like this? You don't require that much of setup, three lakh setup that you have seen. Gaming setup, okay. But for gaming as well, it is not required three lakh setup. So, which high level games you are playing? For I think PUBG Battlegrounds or all the games require at least 60,000 PC is enough for you to stream. This Asus Rock Gaming is enough for me to play such games. No, no private videos, only live stream, public live stream so that all the people can enjoy. There is no stuff like private. I will not do any sort of coaching as well. So. I make videos for public so that all the people can watch it for completely free. I don't have plans for future, so why are you asking this question? I don't know. What plans? What evening plans? It's not a single PC, I have multiple laptops and multiple monitors. So why you don't require these much of monitors and PCs? What sort of streaming are you doing for streaming you just require one pc so if you're playing a game inside a laptop why you will require multiple pc or multiple that much no i didn't private my videos from yesterday why you said that please share bro you should clean your world at least Different for work, laptop, college and gaming. Okay, you have separated your laptops for college work, gaming work. So, I do my gaming on college work, sorry, live streaming one on the same PC, on the same laptop, 60,000 laptop. I don't have different laptops. I don't have this much of money that to spend on laptops. So, this is a very bad idea to buy multiple laptops. So if you are not interested data x why are you watching this if you are not interested don't watch it i am not forcing you to watch it my wall will remain the same i will not clean it i will do the stuff what i like so if you want to ask questions related to the live stream ask it don't ask these uh, pathetic questions your wall is something like uh, if if it is looking a bit disgusting why are you watching this Dislike the video and go away. So why are you watching this live stream? I am not forcing you to watch it. Other people are connecting here. So, so many people are there. Data is its a choice. If you don't like it, why? Well, yeah. Exactly my point. Why do you... No, I don't want any care. How many people I can care for myself. I am an adult. I can care for myself. I don't want any care. What a silly question he is asking. Exactly, you are here for educational content, not for his background.
only a small portion 20% of the screen is uh, is is me the rest of the screen is uh, all the screens so why are you paying attention to that uh, 10% that i have this this is only this 10% of the screen 90% screen is this so why are you not watching the screen very silly question you are asking data x Yeah, I'm ignoring it. I'm getting why he's so frustrated <laughs> with the live stream. Why he's so much? I use VS Code Editor. Is there any other? You know, uh, many alternatives are there. Uh, it is Atom is also there. Uh, brackets are also there, which is provided by Adobe. Let me show you VS Code. If you have want to find alternative, similar to this is Atom. Atom is a great. It's a desktop application developed in Electron JS, and uh, it's a very good text editor, similar to VS Code. But VS Code is the ultimate. It's the best of the best, and uh, Atom is just an alternative if you want to use it. It's not better than VS Code. I'm telling you, VS Code has its own community, and uh, then we have our uh, brackets. Brackets is very. Modern open source editor. I used it in the past. It is also good if you want to use it for just uh, web development purposes. Very minimalistic editor, but not that much popular when it comes to Visual Studio. So any sort of application you can develop inside Visual Studio, all the packages, all the themes, which makes it the ultimate best. So I think that Visual Studio is the ultimate best. If you are looking for options, then definitely. Atom is way better, and then brackets. So these are the free ones I'm talking about. Sublime Text is also one there. Sublime Text is paid, I think. I like VS Code, but getting bored with this now. Why bored? I think the VS Code is great. It has got a lot of extensions. If you want to add some packages, if you want to add some new themes, you can add it. So totally. Why you are getting bored with this? I don't. I like VS Code. It's got a lot of beautiful theme out there. Uh, so I don't know why. How to exit Vim? Yeah, Vim is I think is a very complicated editor. I also don't like it. Vim is actually for uh, I think is it is for Linux devices, Linux PCs, uh, operating system. I think after five years that wall will become black hole. And... Yeah, I guess. Uh, first of all guys if you're watching it for the very first time then please hit the like button subscribe to the channel okay monster flick enjoy the tea i also planning to eat some time here my lunch here which is Okay, I will try to make that video monster flick. Don't worry about it. I will try to build this video, video compression. And I am just researching the topic because I am not getting the full source code. I want to get some example here, which is.
ओके गेम्स फॉर हेयर वो ही तो लाइव मिल रहा है क्या यू कैन यूज कम्युनिटी पोस्ट टू पोस्ट अबाउट योर डे सजेशन जस्ट अ सजेशन ओके ओके वही मैं बना लेता हूँ चेंजेस करके कैन वी शो डू यू day schedule i meant so definitely i will try to write some on the community post so that you guys can should i share the uh, topics on which i will be coming live i don't have that much topics in mind so whenever i see some topic which is interested i go live so that is the way that i try to approach so i don't have any sort of plan that i will do on this day certain certain day so whatever thing that i like i ju just do it on live so that's why you got you guys you say that you can't get notifications so this is the live chat you can see uh, i have given the source code you can see in the pin chat get the full source code this is the link that i have given in the live chat this is a pinned comment you will see that pinned by coding section this is a source code that i have given so if you want to get it you can click it in the pin chat भैया एक वीडियो कंप्रेशन की आर्टिकल है बट लिंक चैट पे नहीं जा रहा था किसमें भेजो यू कैन ई मेल भी माय ईमेल एड्रेस गिकी कॉटन नाइनटीन एट द जी मेल डॉट कॉम आई विल टेक योर ईमेल ईमेल डू यू इंडेक्स योर पोस्ट मैनुअल टू कंसोल नो आई डोंट डू इट बिकॉज माय वेबसाइट इज ओल्ड इनफ एंड वेन आई पोस्ट इट इट ऑटोमेटिकली इंडेक्सड आफ्टर सम टाइम And some YouTubers are there, which is uh, Bucky Roberts, which I started. The new Boston, Traversy Media is also there. Web Dev Simply Buy it is also there. And Code with Harry, which is Indian YouTuber, which talks in Hindi language, understand the concept. I also have that uh, teacher which was inside uh, Durga Solutions. If you have uh, known about Durga Solutions, basically it was a group of teachers. it teaches java related stuff so i also watched those videos as well so quite a lot of coding channels i like on youtube so yeah but it is outdated but still it, he makes some videos here and there how long it takes to make a full stack website like olx glow by the way i'm waiting for that video it takes a lot of time because you it's a full stack app it's not a design so you need to have a lot of technologies not a lot of languages a lot of databases to be connected to make that happen so 
it cannot be built in one day so it will take a lot of time and effort as well first of all you need to design the tables how you, which database you will use to deploy it uh, which will be good for pricing model you all need to make sure and then dis, uh, deploy it if you want to use firebase how the pricing will look like all that stuff will go in and it takes a lot of effort as well it can't be built by a single person if you want to deploy it it needs a, a concerted effort by a group of individuals you can hire someone if you want to quickly you can go to freelancer or fiverr as well i will not suggest fiverr but go to freelancer upwork is also a great website where you can hire someone to make this website quickly if you want to the yeah, cred app is very much easy just delete read update delete it is just for tutorial purposes but if you are making a full project it will take a lot of time but it also takes a lot of effort to prepare that video because you need to uh, make that first of all with your own then you need to live stream it so it takes a lot of time for uh, me also to first of all make olx clone and then show to you so it is not possible for me to build it in one day and show to you in live stream so that's why i also need to grow my channel so that's why i need to live stream daily three four times so in that period of time it's not possible for me to build the olx clone and show to you on youtube there are many many videos available someone has made it just search on olx clone some video will pop in just watch that video basically it's just a e-commerce based website you just write e e-commerce based clone various website will see I said yes because I will. I said yes. I said that one day I will make it. I have not said that tomorrow I will make it. So some people just uh, get excited by this name. Yeah, many clones are made by people. Facebook clone, uh, Instagram clone. So the concept is very much the same. So you can apply one concept with the, another concept. So basically, the operations are performing the same. You are fetching the data from database, printing it out, deleting it, updating it. So the concept basically remains the same. You just need to be a good programmer to apply those concepts from one website to another website. So that's why I'm telling. You are not liking the content, guys. I'm not subscribing yet. I am not getting new subscribers. Why I think? Please subscribe the channel as well, guys. Also subscribe it, like the video as well, because I'm seeing that people are not liking the video.
okay i will think about it because i have not experience with the discord server so definitely if you have guys interested in that you can make that discord server basically yeah i know that in that discord server people can speak also and we can have a live interaction so definitely i will consider that in the future